This screencast demonstrates how to build a flow sheet in Aspen Plus. To begin a new project, click on the File tab and click on New. Aspen conveniently provides templates for common process types. Templates have predefined settings on what units of measurements to use, stream reporting formats, property methods, and more. The default templates come with options for imperial or metric units. Some of these categories, specifically chemical processes, polymers, and pharmaceuticals, offer distinct templates for batch operation. If you would like to create your own template, you can do so by going to File, Save As, and Create New Template. Now let's start with a blank simulation. Aspen Plus provides a variety of unit operations at the bottom of the screen. Models are grouped in subsections according to the unit operation type. Options include mixers and splitters, separators, which include flash drums and decanters, heat exchangers, which include simple heaters, coolers, multi-stream heat exchangers, and shell and tube heat exchangers, columns, comprised of different models of distillation columns, reactors, which include CSTRs, plug reactors, and batch reactors, pressure changers, which include pumps, compressors, pipes, and valves, manipulators, referring to flow sheet manipulation blocks, solids and solid separators, which include common solid processing unit operations. And finally, new in Aspen version 11 are blocks for batch reactors and separators. In this example, we will model a two-stream heat exchanger. Click on the heat exchanger tab and click on heat X to add the unit operation. Place the block by clicking on the desired position on the flow sheet. To add material streams, click on the material icon and connect your streams to the designated inlets and outlets of the unit operation. You can straighten your lines by clicking on the Align button or using the shortcut Control b Notice that the valid positions for the endpoint of a stream are updated every time an endpoint is placed. Before placing the first endpoint of a material stream, both input and output connections are valid. Afterwards, only the input connections are shown. Both streams and blocks may be labeled by double-clicking the auto-generated text labels and entering the desired names. To modify what information is reported on the flow sheet, there are options for which process variables you may wish to show under the Modify tab in Flow Sheet. Other display options are also listed under the Display Options icon. To learn how to input data and run a simulation, watch the following video in the YouTube playlist by clicking on the link below. For more Aspen tutorials, you can visit the Cornell Chemie YouTube channel.